I think that with keto, you have to be very mindful of how your body feels. You need to be very mindful of how you're interacting with your thoughts about your body as you're losing weight and with the thoughts you're having about your body if you're not losing weight. There's a lot of really great videos out there, um, a lot of good channels that talk about ketosis, and I would say go browse through them because they're all going to say something a little bit different. And um, what helped me was to pick a little bit here and a little bit there from everybody and then put it together in a way that worked for me. Um, sometimes it was about portion control. Sometimes it was about calories in and calories out. Sometimes it was about the macros. And until you figure it out and you kind of make your own little plan, then um, you can't really take one person's idea and format and just blanket cover your body with that like plan. Instead, you have to be the, your own doctor. You have to be your own dietitian because you're the only one who knows how you feel. You're the only one who knows what they want, their, what you want your body to feel like, what you want your body to look like, because it is about also your your perception of how you look. It's not just about how you feel. Those two things are, are equally important. Sometimes forums can be very helpful. Um, I am okay, so today I wanted to talk about keto, the ketosis diet, and I have been a very healthy eater my whole life. I had to, of necessity, be a healthy eater, eating whole foods, eating no sugar most of my life, and uh, generally growing my own food. However, as we traveled and as we worked and as we were doing what we were doing with our business, I got further away from that because I wasn't growing my own food, and I started to gain weight, I started to gain size, I started to have lethargy, and when my husband went on the keto diet at the recommendation of my dad, uh, I watched him and he lost 40 or 50 pounds in like eight weeks and then kept it off for a long time. As long as he stayed on the ketosis diet, he kept it off. He was doing so much better. His health was so much improved. And so last August or September, I don't remember which it was, I started the ketosis diet too. And... Um, I had been doing the, uh, what's it called, the uh, primitive diet, the um, the primitive diet where you eat things that don't come in a package, that kind of thing. But I was really, really heavy on the carbs. I was really heavy on the carbs. We had found some noodles that were made out of sweet potato flour, and we'd found noodles that were made out of tapioca starch. And it was the first time in my whole life that I could eat pasta, and I had been eating a lot of pasta. And it meant that my size uh, 10 jeans were getting too tight. I looked lumpy, I looked bumpy, and I didn't have a lot of energy. I was always, always, always hungry. I was eating a lot of fruit. I was still eating high fat, but I was eating more starches than I was fat. And I was eating more um, starches than I was protein. So these are my trick foods that helped me because I lost six pounds the first week I was on ketosis, but then I plateaued and I was losing inches, which was good, but I really felt like I wasn't getting the full benefit and I was nauseous all the time. I was having a hard time eating enough fat. And what I ended up doing was I would take little <laughs> sips of cream throughout the day in between meals. If I felt like I um, was hungry, I would take sips of cream, and everywhere that I went, I would take hard boiled eggs. I would always have a, a quart jar of hard boiled eggs in my backpack, and water, and probably some cheese. And the other thing that helped augment that really fast loss was that I stopped using stevia. I stopped using any kind of sweetener, and that was also part of why I started to suddenly just lose weight. Um, that I was losing about a pound a day for a little while, for just a little while. It didn't feel healthy, it didn't feel fantastic, but I was under a huge amount of strain at the same time, so that might have kind of helped with the weight loss being kind of unhealthily fast. So I dropped down to five pounds above my goal weight. My goal I decided to stay there, that I would bring some carbs back in and I would change things up so that I wasn't losing any more weight. I had started to hunch forward like this. It was like I just didn't have the energy, I didn't have the strength to have good posture. And I was sleeping a lot and I was exhausted and, and slow walks were too much for me. And so I thought, I don't care about skinny so much. I care about staying healthy. 
would I would eat any carbs that were low starch when I felt like eating them. So it would be broccoli. My go-to is turnips. I absolutely love turnips. I didn't eat carrots, but I eat a lot of turnips, raw turnips. Um, it was pretty much just I brought back non-starchy carbs and I, I ate a lot more of those and I made sure that anytime I was hungry, I ate my fat and my protein first. Made sure I filled up on that and then if I was gonna eat carbs, then I would eat the carbs. So, long story short, um, I am at the same weight I was two months ago when I was losing a lot of weight. I weigh exactly the same amount, but I went from a size eight down to a size two in that period of time, and I didn't increase the exercising. I, I actually stopped exercising for those two months because I didn't have a lot of energy. Um, and so when I saw that I was approaching a size two, I got really concerned because again, I wasn't increasing in muscle mass at all. I wasn't increasing in energy. I was just getting smaller and smaller and smaller by keeping the carbs up. I wasn't, um, losing any more weight. And what I decided was we got to up the carbs and we got to up the carbs until we have enough energy to exercise again. So that's what we've done in the last probably two weeks. Yeah, it's been two weeks that I've been doing that and I've been going, been able to go for long bike rides of like maybe five miles. I have been able to go for long walks of like three to five miles. And this week I started at the gym again. I'm doing a weight training three times a week and I do it at five o'clock in the morning while everybody's still asleep. I go by myself and it's wonderful. My confidence is back. My posture is starting to correct itself and I'm really happy about it. So do I think that a strict keto diet is great to reset your metabolism? Yes. I think, however, make sure that you don't let the keto start to play mind games with you or don't let, if you have an eating disorder, don't let your eating disorder start to play mind games with you where you always think that smaller is better. And just know that even if you're not losing weight, your proportions are changing. For one thing, I'm really glad that I'm not losing weight because I was starting to like lose my boobs and my butt was getting really, really flat. And it doesn't matter how small your waist is, if your chest and your hips are also small, you just look like a bean pole. So that's my personal take on it. I will put the books that I really enjoy cooking from when I wanna do something fancier, I will put them in the link in the description. We've been eating out of them a lot lately as I've been trying to bring my carbs up um, and trying to make it so that my family feels like they're satiated. We have been bringing in more keto desserts not really my favorite. I prefer to just eat the carbs, but um, John has got, John uh, weight, uh, gained back like 10 pounds very quickly. The minute he went back to the standard American diet of white bread and sugar and pop, um, he, he gained the weight back very quickly. So he went back on keto, but he wants more sweets. So I have been cooking from, I think it's called Simply Keto or Simple Keto. I really like that book. And I just purchased a fat bomb book, fat bomb book which is, uh, they're kind of like a, a slightly sweet fat candy. Um, but generally they're not that sweet and they give you a whole bunch of fat so that if you're um, in between meals and you're snacking, you can pop one of those and you stay in ketosis. And I really like the fat bombs. So I'll add those books in the description below. I think I'm closer back to a paleo diet than a keto diet at this point, and I'm okay with that. My body seems to like it. And so I think some people can stay on ketosis on the keto diet all the time and be happy. And I think other people uh, kind of need to move away from that and, and kind of form their own little, their own little meal plan. So. I think that clothes can be a, a reward when you're trying to get healthier and we need to make sure that what we're wearing makes us feel good about ourselves no matter what uh, parameters we're looking at in the future that we're aiming for. 
Because of that, I only ever buy the same kind of jeans that I've tested, I've proven, I always like these jeans. I get them on eBay because I can get them used and they're in pretty good shape. I don't like to wear clothes that are uncomfortable, that make me think about them, that make me need to adjust them. I wear um, high waist mom jeans with some, uh, not a lot of elastic in them. I don't want to wear jeggings. I want to wear real jeans, but I want them to have a little bit of elastic in them so that they hold their shape during the day. And so I wear not your daughter jeans, NYDJ jeans. And um, I really like them. I found them years ago. How many years ago did I find them? I found them like four, maybe five years ago. And I just, those kind of jeans are my jeans. So it doesn't matter how inexpensive other jeans are or what kind of sale is going on. Those are the jeans I get. And um, I'm really particular about them because they make me feel good. No matter what size I am, they make me feel good. So if you have things in your wardrobe that you're holding on to and they don't make you happy, get rid of them. Uh, don't have them there. If, if you didn't like them, even when you were a certain size that you aim for, but you didn't like them, get rid of them. Uh, I, I think that just small changes, things like buying a new pair of jeans, because your other jeans just don't make you happy, gives you motivation, gives you motivation to make healthy choices and not even healthy choices as far as like your body, but for your mind, your mentality of I'm worth having something that looks good on me and that fits. So hopefully that was helpful. I'll talk to you later.